Carrie Rose. I'm from the Roseway Consultants. So I think the thing that really draws me to this approach is that it really underpins the importance of looking at human beings with this lens of competency and inclusion and equity and it sits with all my values. And so when I think you find that educational project, then you go, this is my people. This is, this is what I really believe in. Um, it's very easy then to just keep reading about it and keep learning about it and keep being inspired by it and, and thinking about well, what does this mean for me in my context, um, you know, because it's the, the city itself is, is the most exquisite place, but it's not Logan, Brisbane or, you know, it's not Queensland. And so there are so many elements of it that I would love to be able to go, oh, I wish we could do that here. But they are contextual to that space and those schools. And so it's, yeah, it, I think what I love about it is it just provides this amazing foundation that you then can go, wow, this gives me some amazing grounding around what's important in education for young children and also how to see them. You have to think about rather than I like that and I want to do that here, look at I really love the underpinning principles of why they're doing these things and I like the outcomes that that's creating for those children. Now, if I want to do the same kind of value and principle in my teaching here in Australia, what does that actually look like? What can be some of the restrictions and then how do I actually maneuver myself around that? And I think that's probably the most important thing I believe about um, those of us who are, um, you know, uh, advocates for this philosophical approach to teaching children is the principles and the values that they uphold there and the advocacy for young children is something that we can all do in Australia regardless. How we do that needs to be different because they are very, very different contexts. They're regulated different. They're seen as different. They're also valued very differently. They're completely, you know, it's a completely different value system. I would just like to acknowledge the land on which we meet today, the Larrakia, and I pay my respects to the elders past, present and emerging. Hi, my name's Rachel. I'm the early childhood team leader for Kentish Lifelong Learning and Care. I've also been the centre director here at our Malden Early Learning Centre. So I'm really thrilled to be taking on the early childhood team leader role and to share my knowledge with our early learning services. We currently have two childcare centres and a family daycare, and we are building a brand new centre in Catherine, which is about 350 kilometres outside of Darwin. The Reggio Emilia approach, I believe, intertwines with the early years learning framework, where the child is seen at the centre of the learning, and it's a holistic approach across the learning, children, families, and community. We have appointed a heritage and culture leader, Sonia, who runs a program making sure children are connected to their own culture through music, language, dance, and visual arts. This also leads into the 100 languages of children. Not all children like to sit down and just do a painting. Children can express themselves in many ways through art, drama, music, constructing and sculpting. Children learn through different ways of being. So our approach to it is being able to see the child's interests and be able to extend on that through a range of different resources and experiences. Here we emphasize on bridging the gap with Indigenous communities by welcome, welcoming them to our service and knowing that this is a safe place and also seeing our heritage and culture facilitators makes them want to enrol their child at our service. The 100 languages allows these children to express themselves in ways that they know from their community and our heritage and culture facilitator is also able to speak language and perform and play music that they may know.